Hey guys, it's Jules. Welcome to my video. Today's video is a partnership with Online Makeup Academy. This is an online makeup school where you can get your certificate to be a professional makeup artist. So I actually did all that. I took the course, submitted the homework and the test. Now I'm a makeup artist. I'm just an average person and you could get your makeup license as well, which is super fun and exciting. They teach you everything you need to know about the industry, basically. Let me go wet my beauty blender and I can begin. Okay, we have the beauty blender wet they teach you everything about like hygiene when it comes to doing your makeup they teach you about sanitation and how you should have a like spoolie for your eyelashes when you put on mascara for your client they tell you everything that you need to know you shouldn't be putting on your lip gloss with like the lip gloss applicator you should be doing it with the proper applicator that you get at like sephora so when you go to sephora and you go get your makeup done or you test out products they have all of those little disposable applicators that you are meant to use when you are dealing with a client you will learn basically everything you need to learn about your clients relations what you need to wear you need to wear all black look professional feel professional and have minimal makeup on when you're doing makeup they will tell you everything and more so if you have any questions leave them down below and i will respond to you and tell you what it's like going through the course and everything of that such that sort i don't know what the word i'm just going to take you through my routine and i'm going to tell you a little bit about them and also we'll tell you a little bit more about me so we can do like a little get ready with me as I tell you about what I do and honestly whatever else I'm just using babe lash essential lash serum I love it always prep your skin you know they tell you that in the course put on a primer they tell you which products they recommend and which ones are similar also if you are new to this and you want to go check them out and you want to get like all of the cool makeup tools and whatever else you will get the pro card benefits and it'll give you 40 percent off for all of their partners which are friends beauty nigel beauty on brands such as makeup forever anastasia beverly hills miram graftobian beauty blender nyx inglot temp 2 and lots lots more this is real techniques real techniques but I use the beauty blender and it's around $20 so if you can get 40% off that's a hefty discount that is totally worth checking out so I definitely recommend it you will also get one-on-one -on -one personal video guidance from mentors and other people from the school they will give you video feedback and one-on-one -on -one individual interaction so if you ever want to know if you're doing something right or wrong they will give you feedback with all of the assignments like the homework assignments and you will learn everything you need to learn. I have all new brushes. You are supposed to change your brushes pretty often. I believe it's like every three months or so. When you're dealing with your clients, you wanna make sure that you're as sanitary as possible. I just primed my skin. We're gonna put on the It Cosmetics CC Cream. So, voila. I'm going to use my beauty blender and blend it all together. So I just got this new beauty blender and I didn't know, I don't know if it's like better than the actual beauty okay so wait it's not a beauty blender this is a makeup sponge i don't know if it's gonna be better than beauty blender but you could get your beauty blender for 40 percent off i think they're around 20 dollars each and that's a pretty good price i always get my eyelids i have super veiny eyelids so it's good to you know cover i need a little bit more i'm gonna put concealer on because we're gonna do a full face makeup I always go down the neck i have pimples right here so we're gonna cover those too there's no need to have those prominent also if you're curious if this is a good fit for you the course covers all skin tones everything like regardless of your ethnicity regardless if you have acne like i'm breaking out pretty bad right now and they will cover everything and everyone they want to get everyone incorporated into their program and everyone to feel included so that is really really good they will tell you all about like face shapes oval circles whatever it may be and they will also tell you all about your skin type they will inform you and make you more knowledgeable on your own body and your own face and along with your clients and everyone else that you're doing makeup on i do have a little bit of eyeliner under my eyes from going to the gym so you have everything you need to kickstart your career as a makeup artist i just got a new elf camo concealer this is in the shade hold on medium tan 
We're gonna test this one out. I had one before and I used it all. So we're gonna test this one out, put over my pimples. Also, something that's really important to know is that with COVID, there were a lot of like hygiene restrictions now and you're gonna learn all about them in the course and all of the new guidelines and all of that fun stuff. What is this one? Defined crease. My makeup brushes. You actually got a full set of makeup brushes and a full starter kit as a new student in their course. These are just the ones that I just recently got and I wanted to test them out. They're really soft so they also tell you exactly what they're used for. But they're going to tell you all about the tools, the brushes, what you do, and everything else. You can earn your certificate and receive post-grad graduation support for as long as you need. It is a course that you can just keep looking back at the videos whenever you want. It doesn't leave. You have full access, one of our lifetime membership to their pro- Did I just put- to their program. So I'm basically going for a nude look for like a fair skin. That is one of the videos in the course. And I'm just gonna follow along also just kind of doing my own little take on my makeup journey. They don't really say this in the course, but I put eyeliner on my bottom line just because I personally think that it makes my eyes look really good and pop a little bit more. It will tell you your eye shape and ah, everything. So obviously don't wipe it away. don't wipe away your clients makeup with your finger. You can get a sponge and wipe away their makeup. I truly don't like doing a lot of makeup on me. So that's why we're going to follow their video with a simple look that doesn't do too much. I'm doing a mixture of two videos of theirs. I'm doing the natural makeup application and then their fair skin just so you learn from both and then you can incorporate them both so what they do is they get a brush and do not eyeliner but your eyeshadow in an upward motion so that it looks like eyeliner but it's not eyeliner so i'm gonna get this and just do it up here and then go upwards so that it kind of looks this one's like a pinky shade i'm doing but you will kind of look like you have eyeliner on without actually putting on eyeliner eyeliner is difficult but you're going to be able to learn how to do it in their course this one's more pinky than i was thinking but i do have i have the physician's formula butter bronzer also all of my products that i use i link it in my amazon storefront so definitely recommend checking it out Okay, so I'm gonna go up. My space between my eye and my eyebrow is so minimal, so it's a little difficult. Okay, so I'm gonna follow my lash line upwards and then go in with a more precise, what's this one called? The angled liner. You probably don't have the same brushes as me, but that is fine. Just to make it a little cleaner and precise. And then what she does is a, I think it's like a dip eyeliner. I don't have a dip eyeliner, so I'm just going to get the same physician's formula and lift my eyelid and go on top. Wait, my eye switch so much. I think I might just do eyeliner. I don't know. I kind of want it to be like hers, but I don't have that. But that's why we improvise. So she has, I'm also watching the video, the tutorial. She has... A darker one so we're gonna just go in with my eyeliner this is just the one size and I'm just gonna go you just follow the shape of your eye they say to do your wing I thought one kind of look really good let me do them both and then I'm gonna go over she pulls up so you can have the precise exact line for her client but because it's my own eye i kind of understand how to do it without pulling up my eye i mean when i do my eyeliner i'm so focused it's insane okay so in the video they were going for a more of a natural look which is the video of following the natural makeup so i'm just gonna go on top with brown just to try to make the darkness a little dull i'm just gonna keep watching the video okay i should have maybe like made a q and i so i could ask get some questions answered while I'm doing my makeup. I'm gonna go underneath and go up. I think makeup is just so cool because it's a really cool form of art and there's no wrong way to do it. There's obviously proper ways to do your makeup, but there's no wrong way. I feel like everyone is always learning and this course is always evolving and they're gonna be adding more and more videos. So there's just nothing wrong with what you're doing. There's just always room for improvement, which is really cool. <laughs> In my eye. 
she's just doing the eyeliner I did it with actual eyeliner just because I don't have a dark enough shade to do it we have a little blue in this little palette like we're gonna test it out also I got a bunch of new makeup just for this video because your makeup does expire <laughs> and you should read the expiration dates trust me you'll get a sty if you don't I got a lot of styes because it could either be from makeup or from my eyelash serums that I use and I don't think you need to have the fanciest equipment when you're evolving. You are going to upgrade your equipment and improve and add to your collection. But as you're just starting out, start out with your friends and family and test your makeup skills on them and then see how invested you are in this and then, you know, buy the stuff. I'm going to go in with some eyeshadow now. I did a little bit to kind of make the wing kind of look up, but I'm going to go in with my bronzer again and go up. I'm just going to go in this crease area and I enjoy... My hair is kind of crazy. I'm so sorry about that. I enjoy getting a highlighter and going in my inner corner and then going and bringing it into the center of my eye. So also, if you want to see more maybe Get Ready With Me's, I don't do a ton of makeup Get Ready With Me's, but I do a lot of gym Get Ready With Me's. Those are all on my TikTok, and you can go follow my TikTok. It's the same as my Instagram. And then you can watch more of my day-to-day -day life and my gym routine. Okay. She gets a big brush and gets all of the fallout, so you can go like this. That just makes you feel so bougie. I feel so sophisticated with this course. You will really learn a lot. Also, if you're not a person who likes watching videos and courses, you you could just watch these like while you're on a treadmill or while you're not driving unless it's just the lectures one not the actual video like they could tell you about sanitation you can watch that while you drive you just need to really listen and invest your time to listen so you could sit down do your makeup every morning and watch these courses you could go on a treadmill and watch these courses i know i can't just sit down for a while and just watch something that's a great way to multitask tell me this is a 20 minute video already they add blush. I personally never add blush because I just have really rosy cheeks, but we're going to test it out. We're going to use this big fluffy and kind of put it just right on the top of your cheek because I've been watching a lot of videos and they put it up here, but like your cheekbone isn't really up there, but you drag the leftover over there. I'm not adding too much just because I said I am a pink, pinky person and... I don't really need that much. She's just like a glowing bronze person. Like if you see this video, you will see how bronzy she is. And I am not really that color, so we're gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown concealer. And I use this right here. Also on my jaw. I think this is what's breaking me up. I don't know why. I think my skin is just not reacting well with it. I'm going to kind of make it bronze. Oh, she's doing so, so much. I'm learning a lot. I'm going to go in with angled foundation brush. And you can really just see the shape of where I'm putting it. If you're not really a contour bronzy person, then I would go in with a sponge and blend it so that it's more natural looking. And then you could always add more concealer or foundation. I'm a type of person who's like a trust the process and it might look psychotic, but it always works out. And especially watching a video tutorial, I feel like I always know what to do watching these courses. Also, if you want to go follow my Instagram, I'm posting five times a week for, I think, like a month. I'm doing a little challenge, and I post on TikTok, like, 12 times a week, like, three to four times a day, just in case you wanted to catch up to my life. I post it on YouTube every single day of the month. I was trying to do Vlogmas. I have a few more videos that need to go up, so we're going to see how that turns out. If I just don't blend a spot, it's just because I can't see. Now I'm going to go in with this and just blend a little bit more. She's adding mascara. You typically add it with the wand. A, not a wand. You add it with the proper little spoolies that you get. And Sephora, you just can buy them on Amazon and then have the disposable ones for all of your clients. I'm just doing it myself just because I'm the only one who uses this mascara. I also feel like a lot of girls share mascara when they are in college. And I think that's kind of scary just because these are like going right on your eyes. And I don't know how much I want to trust someone else with my mascara. So definitely learn your proper sanitation because <laughs> that could 
cause a sty, an eye infection, lots more. She added it to like the bottom lashes and very individually. So we're gonna test that out. We're gonna test out her methods. Oh my gosh, going like this way because it's got actually did it really helps you get each eyelash. Is that a life changing movement? Moment? I like it. I've never done just mascara on the bottom. She's doing her contour with a big palette. I'm gonna use this one again. Get a bunch. She goes up the jawline and then <laughs> up your cheekbone and down the jawline. And then a little bit on her forehead, right there by your hairline, and right here. I'm gonna use this because I did the bronzer kind of crazy. They don't use makeup sponges. They, I think it's not the cleanest, but for yourself, if you're just doing your own makeup and you just switch them out every few weeks, you're, I mean, you're not really doing too much harm. She did a little bit of blush on her nose. So we're gonna try that out, like a little ski mask. I look so tan. <laughs> I haven't had makeup on in like so long. Also, my mirror is right here. I'm sorry if I'm looking right there and not completely in the lens. So now she's adding highlight. Oh, she's adding highlight to a place that I've never, she, does she just do it with her finger? She's getting a fluffy brush and adding highlight right here, which I do. And then right here, I've never done that before. And then blend it with your finger. I'm just gonna try to add more with my finger here just cause it's my own body. Definitely try to avoid using your fingers on people. And she's adding highlight on her chin. I've never done that before. And your Cupid's bath. I've definitely seen that one. That one looks really good. A bit right here and then on top of the eyebrow. My eyebrow hairs are just kind of wildin'. Wildin'. I'm just kind of blending in my highlight just because we're making it more of a natural look. And I think what really helps make it a super natural look is not adding mascara on the top. Okay, her eyes are pretty light and it's like more blushy pinky tones rather than a dark eyeliner, which is kind of not really what I did. I didn't really do a super dark eyeliner because I went over with a brown. I'm gonna add more blush. Hers just looks really pink and naturally. I feel like this is really good. She also doesn't have a crazy lip color on and I think that is really good. I'm just using the Neige one. You want to put it on the little foamy applicator or if they have their own chopstick, I mean, go for it. But she's not really adding a crazy lip color. This is basically my step-by-step -step following the natural glowy makeup look and I have pretty fair skin, especially in the winter, just because I don't self tan right now and if you want to check out all of this technique sanitation your presentation as an overall makeup artist you can definitely check out online makeup academy and learn so much they have like hours and hours of courses that you can go through and become a makeup artist professionally it's insane and you will get one-on-one -on -one personal feedback with video feedback to tell you what you're doing wrong and how to improve because it's always about improving not about like you're right or wrong you want to improve and you want to do the best for your clients so i definitely recommend you check them out also especially being post-covid there's a lot of guidelines about sanitation you want to stay up to date with those so go check it out and stay up to date with the latest guidelines this is my makeup the after this is my before I'm very pale we covered the acne and i think we did pretty good following the natural makeup application demo. It's 103 minutes long. You can skim through. You could go through and do it for an hour long. But yeah, this is the makeup. I love how it turned out and I definitely recommend going to check them out. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.